You wretched feckin' thing. Can I kick you? Can I kick you? No, you know what I can do to you? I can pop you. Or not. Alright, apparently that one is the most bulletproof... T Whoa, crap, it's coming out. Are you chasing me, really? <laughs> okay. I mean, we can have a chat. It's not going to be a very long chat, but it's a chat. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in the long drive, where, as you can probably tell, we've got some things that need to be sorted out. Now, um, hold on. Hank? I mean, I knew Mulder and Scully had suffered from the reload, but, uh, I don't remember you getting all twisted up. Okay, well, apparently Mulder and Scully are broken. Uh, thank you, autosave. I was actually going to go look through the window because it looked like I could see... Yeah, okay, so let's actually, before we do anything else, jump up on here, and let's liberate these baskets. Okay, that basket does not want to be liberated. Um, oh, nope, apparently I'm going to fall off. Physics is not having a good day. Can we... Is the trailer just bouncing around? Is that what the problem is? Why is this suddenly all going... Okay, yeah, suddenly this is all, like, stop motion. What the hell? Um, no. Okay, well, a bit of cheeky reloading later. We've got all this sorted back out again. Now, this time... Oh, that's not how you do that, Digby. Let's try... Uh, you know what? That's fine. I'll just come at it from this direction. Yes, this time let's not touch the baskets, and instead let's try picking up the skeletons. Is this going to work? Um, kinda, I guess, maybe? Let's just see if we can slowly work it out of the basket. Come on, Scully, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I mean, you're free now. You should be fine, yes? Come on. Nope, okay, well, let's try Mulder and see if we have any better luck with him. Okay, Mulder definitely wanted to kinda come loose faster. All right, Beetle's still where the Beetle's supposed to be. Where the hell are you going, guys? You gonna pop off the side on your own? No, well, you know what? He looks like he's made some headway, at least. Okay, let me try grabbing you by the hips. Yeah, I've actually got a plan for uh, redoing these guys, but it's not gonna work if I can't get them off this truck in one piece. So, come on, out you come. Okay, change of plan. Let's actually go inside and see if we can figure out what the hell's going on with them. Okay, excuse me, Beetle. I'm going to use you for a porch step. Okay, you get out of the way. All of this stuff, please get out of the way. Uh, I don't think I can actually reach him from... Oh, you know what? That might be a thing we can do. It's just... Oh, hello. You're right there. Can you come over here with me now? Can you just pop into the truck? I mean, it would be brilliant if you could. Almost there. You're almost there. Oops. No. Oh, God's sake, she was so close. Come here. There we go. Just, uh, ah. Okay. Well, you know what? He's out. Ah, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Okay, you lay there. I've got to go somehow try and rescue Scully. Oh, I don't know if I can get to her or not, but I'm going to try it. Please tell me I can. Oh, you know what? I better get her up, up on the bed. Okay, Scully, come here, please. Please come here. Don't tell me these skeletons are ruined now, because I want to keep them, goddammit. Like I said, I've got plans. I have ideas. I've got things I want to do. Wow, Scully appears to be absolutely crash-welded to this truck. Um, let me get up on the table and see if maybe we can have a little better luck going this way. What do we think? You want to come through the side window? No, oh, your leg did. Oh, that's not going to work. Hip bone. All right, well, I tell you what. Give me a minute, and I will see if I can get this sorted out, and then I'll be right back. OK, 
Okay, so if I just grab the basket, can I, nope, okay, well, I tell you what, let me just grab the basket, let's try attaching it here, and then we'll grab it again, we'll attach it a little lower down, and there goes the beetle again, ah, damn it. Okay, well, that one didn't work either, but I've now got a plan. I found a TV set in the parts store. I brought it up here, and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to very quickly detach the basket from the truck and then attach it to the TV. If I do this correctly, and I do it quickly enough, hopefully, physics won't have time to freak out. I mean, worst case scenario, this is a complete fail, and I just got to come up with something else. However, I am feeling pretty confident about this one, so in three two, one, detach, attach, G, G, attach it, Atta I can't attach it to the damn TV, shoot, um, can I attach it to the bar over there, no, I can't, oh, you know what, apparently I'm not low enough, here, let go of the basket, why can't I attach this to the TV, I should be able to, yes, oh, there we go, just like that, no, I want to grab the TV set, um, all right, Beetle's still there, so we're making headway, uh, okay. Now what am I going to do? Why is the TV... Hello, kitten. Yeah, why can I not just pick the TV up again? Well, I tell you what, it's now attached to this rather than this, so we are definitely making headway. Let's try attaching it a little higher up. Like there, say? Oh, is it because the skeleton's still partly inside the vehicle? I mean, that's not a huge deal. I can find a way around that. In fact, Skelly, it looks like it's only your foot. So can I now detach this? Okay, hold that thought. Am I still holding anything? Yes, I want to pick up the TV. I want to pull Skelly away from the truck. I want to check the beetle, make sure it's still there. I don't know why that kept coming, like, unattached. Oh, auto save, really? I'm in the middle of a logistical nightmare. The last thing I need is you helping. Okay, have we fallen out of the truck now? No, I don't want to turn the TV on. Although, it is tempting because that would mean that there was a skeleton on TV. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just try grabbing the skeleton and pulling it away from the truck. That is not a thing that's going to work. Okay, let's try... Who's yelling at me? I mean, it sounded like it was a really long ways off, which is fine. Uh, you know, it's terrifyingly, I still have to do this with Mulder as well. Now, I can pull it out the length of the thing, but I can't really do anything else with it. Um, okay, Scully, darling, I just really need you to kind of gently work yourself down out of the truck. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Potential thumbnail moment, sorry. Okay, let's try grabbing the basket again and putting it... No, I want to grab the basket again and I want to put it way over here now. Like further away from the truck than ever before. Are you now free? I can see your foot. So I'm kind of hoping that means... Alright, the TV's free at least. Here, you go over there in case I need you later. Now I've got you. Okay, Scully is free. Thank God. She was the one that was being the problem child. Now, can I just get her out of the basket? Um, okay, she is apparently fused with the basket. Let's try grabbing you by the hips. Not doing anything for you? Come on, let go of the basket. Let go of the basket. There we go. Okay, she's free. Now, basket over there. Ah, good God. That is definitely one messed up janky skeleton. Now, do I just want to do the TV trick with Mulder as well? I mean, it does seem to work. All right, buddy, you ready for your freedom? And go. Wow, was that really that? No, I want to grab the TV, thanks. Okay, apparently we got him out that quick. Nice. Nice. I mean, we still have kind of the uh, original inherent problem that we had before, but <laughs> at least physics isn't getting cranky about it. I wonder, let me just get the basket back so we can have those if we need them.
Let's just dispose of the television set, because we really, really don't need that anymore. Here, you hold this for me, will you? Thanks. Now, I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to save the game and see if now that the skeletons aren't physics locked in the baskets, that maybe, just maybe, the game will sort them back out. I mean, it can't hurt, right? Holy crap, it actually worked. Well, I mean, kind of worked. Uh, Skelly still does not look like she's 100%. Well, actually, she might be. Alright, well, that worked. Apparently, they just do not like being physics locked when you save. I'm assuming the same goes for old Hank here. Um, what's in this barrel? I don't even remember why we had this over here. Oh, yes, there's tons and tons of gas in there. Okay, well, hold on one second. Twelve seconds later. Ugh, I am spectacularly sick of this stupid cold. Okay, well, now that they're free, I've actually got an idea on how to pose them next. Uh, it kind of came... Oh, hello, are you the... I think that might be the rabbit that we killed in the explosion. Brought back to life by the reload. Um, I'm down to 12 bullets. I should probably start paying attention to my ammunition situation. Anyway, as I was trying to say, now that they're free, I think I've worked out a way to put them on the truck that's going to be both entertaining and funny. It is unfortunately going to probably take me the better part of 15 minutes to get it to, like, be set up properly. Why? Whoops. Come here. Why? Why am I getting attacked all of a sudden by everything? Uh, hold on. Ugh, I swear to God, nothing derails a train of thought like a rabbit. I stand corrected. A very lippy kitten will also derail your train of thought. Anyway, I've got an idea on how to pose him. It's probably going to take me about a half an hour, but don't worry about it. I'll do it all off camera. Um, Hank, I think I'm actually going to just leave the way he is. Because, quite frankly, I'm interested to see how twisted up he will end up getting through, like, every time we save and reload. And I have had one other really dumb idea that I may be able to pull off. I might not. Kind of depends on what's in there. So, I'm thinking I'm going to loot this place. I will get them going again. And, yeah, I'll be back when it's time to hit the road. Alright, well, two in-game days later, I am actually back. I've got everybody posed kind of how I want them to be posed. Um, at least I did as good a job as the game will let me do. And, yeah, as you can probably tell from the small puffs of smoke headed out across the uh, road there, the truck has become a little bit of a jank fest. Now, first off, though, I want to start with Mulder and Scully. I've decided to go with the iconic pose. <laughs> and yeah, I know it's a little bit crap, but if you don't get what it's supposed to be... Oh, yeah, by the way, Hank now has a noble steed, which is brilliant. But yeah, if you don't quite get the pose, here's a hint. And regrettably, it will probably all fall apart the minute we save and reload again. However, for now, we are now on the Titanic. Ah, and I think that means... Oh, actually, you know what? I got, I think, a little bit of hunger and thirst going on. I do. So how about we... Is there any... Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I left a chorizo in here somewhere. So how about we eat? I'm going to grab a drink if I can find any. All right, what do we got? Blood. Empty... All right, oil. Oh, okay, yep, that's water. Come here. Come here, please. Um, yeah, whatever's shaking, please stop shaking. It's not much, but it'll keep us alive for a little bit longer. And yeah, I'm going to go sort out the needs. I'm going to throw some gas in the tank, and then I think, at long last, we're going to hit the road. Okay, I'm just giving the rig one last going over, and it actually looks like it might be okay, apart from this bit. Um... Basically, I think we'll be fine as long as physics doesn't realize what we're up to. Because, yeah, if it does, this thing's going to space. No, don't. Oh, crap. Crap. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Hold that thought. Okay. E brakes on. Ignition is on. I don't know why we just stopped dead. I'm almost afraid to look. Um, oh, for God's sakes, autosave, really? Now, please, I'm trying to assess the damage. 
Um, okay, well, we lost a headlight. Not a huge deal. We can fix that. What the hell did we hit? Oh, crap. Okay, we've lost stuff out of the trunk here. Let's uh, put that back. Is this thing sliding off the side of the hill? Okay, that's not good. Can we please, please, please reattach? Yeah, you know what? Here, look. Yes, just put it down. Let's just chuck stuff in the back seat really quick. Really, really quick. Okay, back in the back seat. I've got to get this thing off of the before it slides off the hill. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I think we might be in trouble. Okay, come on, get back on the road, baby. Get back on the road. There we go. Holy <laughs> Yes, I just said shnikes, that was what I said. Okay, let's put the radio back. The glove box is gone now. Where the hell did that end up? Uh, hello. Right there. Good enough. We can fix that. Can we... Yes, just fix that. Now, Beetle. Which side of you lost the... Uh, lost the headlight thingy? I can't really tell. Oops. Okay, so that came off of that side, but the headlight came off on that side. Interesting. So let's just pop this back on. Oh, you know what? We should probably also pop back on. Is this? No. There we go. I think I'm actually going to leave the paint in there because I have a sneaking feeling. Yeah, if I try and open the uh, bonnet, terrible, terrible things are going to happen. Two seconds later. Did I just run afoul of a tumbleweed? I mean, I literally just got going again two seconds ago. Please tell me I did not get screwed up by a tumbleweed. Oh, for God's sakes. Yep, I got screwed up by a tumbleweed. And, of course, it's going to be the headlight off of the one side. I'd be willing to bet you anything. And the eyebrow or eyelash off the other side. So let's just pop the headlight back on like so. You wretched feckin' thing. Can I kick you? Can I kick you? No, you know what I can do to you? I can pop you. Or not. Alright, well, apparently that one is the most bulletproof... T Whoa, crap, it's coming out. Are you chasing me, really? <laughs> okay. I mean, we can have a chat. It's not gonna be a very long chat, but it's a chat. Oh, really, game? game? No, 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 no. Okay. We've actually now got a very big problem. Um, hold up, hold up. Let's see if we can sort this bit of it out, at least. Uh, where's a good spot to turn around? Are we... Um, no. Okay, that's just making it worse. Here, let's just go straight for a bit. Is straight an option? The friggin' beetles come undone. Uh, come on, car, come on. Yeah, all of a sudden, I have got a lot of problems. Uh, you know what? Here. Let's just, uh... Let's shut everything down. It looks like I dropped something out in the road, way up here. Alright, I think that was one of the cans that was in the back of the VW, yes? Yes, it was. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, there's one less problem. Unfortunately, we've now got, by my math, at least two very, very large problems. In that... This is a very steep hill, and we've got to get up it somehow, and the car was actually already struggling to do that, because when I put the noble steed under old Hank here, I tried to pick them up and put them on the uh, crossbar, and they were actually so heavy I couldn't pick them up. Now, I do know that weight is a thing in this game, so this thing must absolutely weigh a friggin' ton. Now, would it be worth maybe going back down to the bottom and seeing if we can get a run-up at it? I don't actually know. Um, this is now... Uh, <laughs> not hooked properly. We'll just put it that way. Hopefully we can work with it. Thank you, autosave. 
Alright, stop gunning it, Digby. Now let's try going... Okay, you know what? Yeah, I was going to say, let's hit the gas first. Could we actually back up? I think we might be stuck. I don't know, it's turning slowly but surely. Okay, let's get back into first person. Wow, that suddenly got very, very loud. Let's see if we can get to the asphalt. That's the noise I want to hear. I want to hear tires biting. Okay, quick look at the camera. Uh, nope, alright, that didn't work. Let's try tacking it. This is just making it worse. Oh, come on, baby, come on, you can do this. Let's just go, let's just go. Let's just get up this hill. Oh, crap. Hold on, did I leave the e-brake on in the VW? Please tell me I'm not that big of an idiot. Whoops, nope, you wanna do that. I am that big of an idiot. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully that'll help. Well, let's try that again. Wow, that made all the difference in the world. Um, I've now got the e-brake on in Christine, and we are actually... Ugh, freaking tumbleweeds, go away! Yeah, we're gaining speed downhill, so I'm going to try a little bit of break. I can't really avoid you guys, so if you want to do me a huge favor and just not get underneath of my wheels and screw up physics, please, I would be eternally bloody grateful. This looks like a pretty good flat spot, so how about we... Actually, you know what? Let's switch to the external camera so we don't hit that rock. Let us swing around as nicely as we can. Ah, okay, that's not nicely. That's the opposite of nicely. Yes, swing around as nicely as we can. And punch it, Chewie. Okay, I cannot see the road anymore, so let's try it with some lights on. That helps slightly. Oh god, it's still going uphill. Come on, game, let me get to the top of this, please. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, we are on a flat spot. We're pretty much up at the top of the hill. Oh, I don't mind telling you, that was something I could have lived without. Oh, you know what? This is not as flat as I thought it was last night. Ah, oh, for God's sakes. Cross your fingers and hope for the best. You ready, Christine? Let's do it. Ah, <sighs> much better. Okay, well, we found one of these places, and now I've actually had a thought. I don't know if I'm going to have the clearance to get underneath of this. It certainly doesn't look it, does it? Um, oh, God. Yeah, this is where it's going to get a little bit risky, because if I overcook this, I'm not going to be able to turn around. So how about we... Yeah, that is not a thing that's going to happen. All right. Can I make the turn and go around it now, please? I mean, we can try it. I don't like turning in this thing, because it tends to jackknife really easily. Here, Digby, here's a thought. Go back into first person so you can actually see what the hell you're doing. Do not hit the... Oh, God, there's a rabbit there. Yeah, don't hit the pole. Don't hit the rabbit. In fact, let's just stop right here. Turn the car off. Oh, thank God. Let's get out. Whoops, that's not how you get out of the car, Digby. Let's get our rifle out now that we reloaded it. Um, autosave. I was kind of checking the perimeter for the bunny rabbit here. Do you mind? Where the hell did he go? No, nope, that's a tumbleweed. I'm not mental, right? I did see a rabbit over there somewhere. I'm guessing he must have run back out behind the uh, building. 
I sincerely hope so. Okay, here's a thought. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run in here real quick, where it's... I was gonna say where it's safe, where it's moderately safe. I'm gonna put the rifle away, because we don't need that anymore. Okay, we got water. There's probably some food in... Oops, that's not how ladders work, Digby. There's probably some food in here we can use at some point. But before we do that, let's run out here on the roof. Let's get the binoculars out, and let's see if there's anything good coming up in the near future. Please, God, I desperately need something good to come up in the near future. Oh, it does not look promising, does it? Nope, I'm not seeing anything out that way. There is something. Oh, no. No, it's a diner. And it's a million miles away across the desert. Ugh. <sighs> I tell you what, though, the diner might have the trailer we want. I'm just going to need to remember to park so I can actually find the road again. Also, looks like it's out of this stupid winter biome, which would be a major plus for me. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was that little black speck over there, yes? Yes, it was. All right, we're going to try this. I was going to say I might regret it, but <laughs> it wouldn't be the only regret I've got in this episode, so what the hell? Let's do it. Alright, well, we should be getting close. It looked like it was just up over this little ridge here. Oh, yes, there it is. Okay. Please, God, please, let there be a trailer here. Just a nice little flatbed that I can stick the friggin' beetle in, and we can unhook it from the rear bumper. I'm actually not seeing anything yet. Um, game? You mean to tell me nothing is going to spawn in here? Really? Alright, well, I tell you what. Let's just get out and have a quick look. Oh, how could there not be a trailer here? Honestly, I don't even see... Oh, hello, autosave. As I was in the middle of saying, I don't even see any cars hereabouts. Okay, never mind. There's one. Is there anything up on the roof? Can't really tell. What do you got for license plate, little weirdo? You are... WZO. Nope, no need of that one. We did get a truck, but it's not even remotely what I wanted. What you got in ya? That is a lot of alcohol. Apparently, we found a Budweiser delivery truck. Alright, well, I think I'm going to hold off on a proper search until the next episode, because I've been recording for quite a while now, and quite frankly, this episode has been fraught. <laughs> so all I'm going to say is it's been fraught. And yeah, who knows, maybe next episode the game will, like, repay me for some of the grief it's put me through today, and possibly spawn in a trailer i mean it does occasionally happen and i certainly wouldn't say no to it if it did but yeah that's just gonna have to wait till next time for us to find that out and i think as a little bit of a treat before we quit what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save and i'm gonna reload and we're gonna see what happens with Mulder and scully and hank and hank's noble steed because i'm kind of curious to see if they'll hold up or if they're just gonna collapse again like they did last time so i'll check that out in a second but as always i have been digby i thank you guys for stopping by i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the long drive and yeah i hope to see you for the next one now let's go see what's going to happen to these guys ah damn it